Oh, ruins, you poor thing. I feel like you I've been ignoring you or something. Here, boss, monster, and Lord Verd. Let's get the our, let's get our holy on. Uh, who's low level? Fucking Knackle third. Let's take them. <laughs> a shooter and oh wait, no, we don't want Knackle because Knackle's a bleeder. Someone who doesn't bleed. Main G, can you even fight from the back row? You can't. Lucas, but you're all you're also a bleeder, obviously. Serene. There we go. We'll take Serene. Yeah, Nackle's a bad person to take to the ruins because everyone bleeds there. Uh, are you guys wearing equipment? Oh, Lord Verge short on something? I'll grab something from Main G. There's, there it is. The light. The one that hurts people when you're in the light. I'm good about that. I'm good for a little light here and there. We'll be fine. Alright, so today's mission, uh, we're going to cleanse the, the uh, ruins. We're really close to a boss fight in the other zones, but I want to try to even this out because we haven't done any ruins really since the last boss fight. Whoops. So the usual provisions. About a stack and a half. Stack and a half. Oh my god. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Those are keys. Okay. Stack and a half. Yes, I'm going to go into this place with 20 keys. That'd be exciting. Uh, I can open literally anything, but I'm starving to death and I can't see. There's something about hubris in here. So 100% of room battles can be problematic sometimes, but this one's nice. It's a nice interlocked area where if we ever do mess up and uh, if we ever run into any pro- Oh, there's, a, there's a immediately a barrier. Alright, shovel. The there goes shovel one. This one's all interlocked with itself, so... If we have trouble fighting the room battles, at least everything's sort of connected, so it's easy to get around. Alright, our usual strat, Holy Lance! That's just a fun ability to spam whenever you have two Crusaders around to trade off with it. And I, I figured I'd, I'd use uh, Main G as our healer this time around. Let's see, what's everyone's stun resist? They're not, not terrible. If I can flashbang this guy, he'll, he might rearrange himself? Nope, no rearrangement. Alright, well at least he became, at least he healed. I'll go ahead and mark him for next turn. So he'll be a nice target in a minute here, once the uh, Crusaders finish Holy Lancing the back people. That gives us priorities. Crusaders get to attack the people in the front. Wow, they both survived just barely too. And Main G gets to be make a big mess out- oh, not mark target. Collect bounty, there we go. This guy's gonna take damage! Ah. If they gave me the crit, I could have killed him probably. Oh well. Uh, do I go for the stun? At this point, I might as well just go for the stun. 90% chance of stun, 80% res- <laughs> Okay, that's not a great chance. I'm just gonna go for the bonus damage against Undead. Figure we might as well focus on this guy now, because the guys in the back will die in one hit. Oh, wow. The Murd is taking actual damage. I probably should have finished off the guys in the back after all. Oh, well. Go ahead and... A little bit of self-heal on. Yeah! Try to, yeah, to out-damage that. Oh god, they're trying to out-damage that. Okay, no, I should have killed these guys immediately. Oh, I should have not let these guys stand. Oh well. Get out of here. A victory. Well, and at least they're in the front row. Now they probably now they can't even do ranged attacks, because they're in the front. Which was my original goal when I tried to rearrange that guy at the beginning, but it didn't work. Confidence and now I'm going to wreck the crap. The enemy crumbles. I guess in that situation, if I really want to... I should probably have the entire party just focus on da dealing damage to the big guy in the front, because the smite does so much damage against undead. Give them no quarter. Holy Lance is what, good when you have like a... Well struck. If you have a caster or a debuffer in the back, it's probably more handy, but... In the situation where it's just archers, the faster I take out the front guy, the less dangerous that guy is, and the faster the archers less become less dangerous because they're not able to do ranged attacks anymore. Quick draw charm. Bonus speed and crit in the first round. A lot of speed and crit, but then he's slower for the rest of the round. So you give this to someone, they get the first shot off of the entire uh, match, and then they're going to be basically the last person every turn. That's a little problematic. We're scouting. Ooh, treasure. Give me treasure. Oh, lots of empty rooms. Okay. Well, we can save on supplies if I just avoid them for a while. What's in the box? More heirlooms? Yes. I could use bus. Upgrade my abbey. Oh, spiders. That's adorable. They think they're worth counting as an encounter. Get out of here. Executed with Pesky impunity. spiders. Spiders are the least threatening in the thing in the entire game, probably after maggots, basically. Like, can't, can't we just, can't I just autoplay this? Like how in like, 
I think in Earthbound, you could like just skip fights basically that were where the enemy was too low a level. Like you would just instantly like it's, it'd be. I think it'd, it would just be like, eh, you win, whatever. He's a spearman, bulwark, conscript. Yeah, no. I, I prioritize casters. Although the ba anyone in the back weak enough? No, they're not. They're not for super weak either. Let's just try to wipe out the uh, the hardy dude. That'll make, mess up their whole party order potentially. Gonna have to go for a self heal. Thamurd's primary function so far is just healing his own wounds. Way to go, buddy. Uh, do I even bother marking people? I can just start wailing on dudes. Bye. Decimated. Damn, if I knew I was gonna crit, I would've gone for the other guy. Alright, down with you. And now the two ranged guys are no longer ranged guys. Although the Spearman probably has crazy range, so I should take care of him. Jesus. <laughs> Not even using strategy right now. I'm just hitting the guy in the front over and over again, and they're dying. Alright, self-heal. Still no bleed, cool. I actually almost fully self-healed from all the damage I took early on. Oh, someone finally survived. Bummer. Bye. Oh my god. I mean, mathematically, I should not be critting this many times. That's just silly. Alright. Let's open up. It's unlocked strong box. Open it up. There might have been a secret compartment, but I'm going to wait till an actual locked strong box. So, we found out that all these rooms are empty, so I guess I'll just backtrack. Not much reason to just take, pay, take part in a fight just because it's there. If it's not in one of the rooms for my objective. Because as far as I... That's one of the weird things about this game, that you don't pick up on it first, but then over time you realize, like, oh, wait, this game doesn't have experience based on kills. It has experience based on, like, runs, the way that, the, like, what happens in a D&D &D game, where you get ex you get experience based on whatever, basically whatever the, D the Dungeon Master determines was the value of that uh, quest when you finish it, or that campaign. So in this game, you gotta finish the whole story first. Oh, what's that last one? Oh, okay, so treasure up and also a relic to my right. So I'm going to want to go to both places. But yeah, that means that you generally... There's not that much reason to fight people unless you really want, or want to just take the gamble and see what kind of stuff they'll drop. But I'm at the point now where even uh, even the random drops aren't that valuable because the unfortunately the loot in this game is kind of garbage. So it really comes down to whether or not you get the uh, the crests you want to upgrade. And right now my priority my priority isn't so much upgrade. Ooh, we're, going, we're definitely doing Holy Lance because they have a caster back there. The bo I hate the Bone Noble. He likes to afflict you with a... With, uh, with demoralizing effects, and that's not cool. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and mark our bone commander, so our so our bounty hunter can can just wail on him. But I, I find most of the uh, most of the uh, what do you, what do we call these again? The charms and stuff. The, the the equipment in this game is just generally not that great. A lot of them have trade offs, and a lot of them are so situational that I'm like, huh. Well, the negative's not that bad, but also the positive I don't care about. So like the majority of items I don't really give a second look to. Aside from some nice damage boosts here and there. Size there we go. What you gonna do now, Spear Man? You're all alone. Oh, he's gonna do that. Apparently. Well. I have an answer for your for your claims. Oh, he's alive, shit. <laughs> that was terrible one liner made worse by not success. Uh I guess I'll just keep capping people off. Wow. Getting really lucky today with crits and uh and our bleed resistances. Alright, what's our loot? This expedition at least promises success. Bonus scouting. Ooh, a skeleton key. A bonus key with which to open this up. Gimme, gimme. And... Yay, portraits and busts that I can't carry. Uh, Citrine's only worth 250. Get out of here. Get out of here with your silly shit. Alright, and uh... I don't need a grave robber satchel. Bonus scouting. We have... I have so many bonus scouting items, I don't need that one. Let's see. Gonna want to backtrack for now, because this this passageway is already relatively safe. At this point, it's just I'm trying not to give myself uh, morale costs of uh, sending people to the tavern and stuff like that, so that I can then spend that money instead on upgrades. Because I mean, half the time that I send someone to to recover their stress, that's about as much cost as it would get take to like give them, for example. Uh, oh, hello, friend. That's that that's it's roughly equivalent to what it would take to like give them two skill upgrades in some cases. Hey look a torch. How convenient. Cause I'm about to use this one. There we go. You can you can understand why I try to why I make some of these runs brief, because holy crap, my entire inventory is already packed with things and I we just started it seems. Alright, we'll get to this weird little chalice room. 
And that might be the end of the run, or that one undiscovered room might also have a battle in it. It probably will, because I feel like we haven't had that many yet. Open. There we go. And shovel. And uh, we should use more torches. Keep ourselves topped off and healthy. The way is lit. The path is clear. It's not like they have to last much longer. Oh, hello, friends. Hey, it's the same fight we did at the beginning. They're surprised! That means I get to just wail on this dude in the front without it being much of a deal. Uh, let's see. Or I could also do finish him and just start wailing on the guys in the back. That's funsies. Ah, uh, why not? Let's just start attacking all the people in the back really quickly. Oh, I can't with this character. Oh, well. Oh my god, this is going to be a brief fight. <laughs> just immediately with the ridiculous crit. And, alright, one down and two very close to being down. This is going to be over before any of them get a turn. Alright, well... Minus 20 dodge. Who has the highest dodge chance? I don't get to, do I get to read that? Let's see, 90% chance of hitting, so it's not going to really happen. Oh well. Blah! You're more likely to die, I guess. <laughs> now you're more likely to die, I guess. Ooh. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I guess he was more likely to die. The beast. <laughs> the glory. It's not really what I meant. Alright, bonus speed minus accuracy. For the people that want to act first, but then fail. <laughs> Uh, I should have camped by now. I have so much shit in my inventory. Anti-Venom, get out of here. That's at least a new item. Ah, it's over already? Well, I guess we'll camp for stress reduction. Oh, wait. We have no stress to lose. <laughs> you get bonus accuracy and crit. I get improved scouting chance. I get bonus damage against large monsters. Here, we better, we better give you a pep talk. You're not feeling so great. There we go. All right. Good talk, everybody. <laughs> the camping is becoming less and less mandatory in some of these later parts. Oh, you can, clip through, you can click through dialogue. Might as well touch it. Sometimes cool stuff happens. Pro oh, money! Yay! People donated to God, and then we pillaged all that money out, because we are the worst people. Alright, well... Do I even check what's in the top room? I might as well. At the cost of slight increases of morale loss... Because this run has been, like, eight minutes long, I think. <laughs> Outside of, like, prep at the beginning. This has been a very short, short run. So I may as well go towards Mr. Enemy. Okay, hello. Oh, a sliver and ghoul. That's where the nasty guys have been hiding this whole time. Let's get him stunned. There we go. Ah, I didn't rearrange. That's not too bad. That means I get the Holy Lansom from all the way back here. Oh, God. Well... I mean, now all that's left is maggots. This is awkward. Get out of here, you silly maggots. You're not dangerous. You're not dangerous one bit. Aw, my bounty hunter's slightly stressed. How will I ever go on with this terrible situation? It truly is a tragedy to behold. No, oh, come on. Silly. You're a silly man. Get out of here. I'm going to be very disappointed if this last room turned out to be empty, Remind you know. Because I came all the way here just for you last room, so you better have things in you. I'd really appreciate it. Scouting? Alright, cool. I don't have to make the walk for it if it's not something. It's not something. Alright, bye. <laughs> that was brief. Well, at least we made 10,000 gold. That means I can... Make more progress in upgrading people's skills. I think I finished people's weapons last time. Oh my god, the busts that I collected. Wow, okay. Busting makes me feel good. I got 21 busts, uh, 2 portraits, six, 10 crests, and 6 deeds. Not a bad mix. Anyone hitting level 5 today? Nope. I think I specifically chose lower level characters for this run. What's our new effects? Ooh. Resist Affliction for Lord Verd, and... Uh, stress res stress reduction at high light. That's a weird effect to have on your occultist that seems to thrive in low light conditions. Uh, Serene Eclipse doesn't. Oh, he's afraid of beasts. Let's get, let's go fix that. Oh, high damage and low light. I mean, I don't usually bring that situation about about, but good to have the benefit. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A uh, crawling chaos. That must be destroyed. Wow, no one was even resting? I, I forgot, I didn't have anyone resting last episode. Crazy. 
Yeah, no one had high stress. Okay. That's crazy to me just because we had a... Uh... Okay. Because I think we had a long run last time. Alright, let's go to the sanitarium. Who had... Was it Serena Clips? Zoophilia. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Your stress bonuses. Main G probably has something bad, right? Sickly, Mercurial, Dark Temptation. Uh... Let's just get rid of Mercurial. Re reduced afflict reduced re resistances across the board are bad. So you might as well start picking off some of those negative traits. Uh, I could have upgraded it to reduce treatment cost. Oh well. I could do that now, but I think... Did I finish the guild? I did finish the guild. And I finished the blacksmith. Oh yeah, so I, I guess the... My next priority was the sanitarium. Well, I paid slightly more than I should have, so I probably just blew 200 gold on that, but 200 is not that bad. And now it's cheaper than ever, and it's going to be a very long time before I have enough uh, busts for that. Okay, so... We have a little bit of time here, I think, because that was so brief. Everyone has level 5 weapons already? I mean, defense? Everyone has level 5 defense, and if they, level 5 weapons if they use m normal melee? Yep, every, all the melee characters have max defense. We'll start looking at skills then. Uh, just to make, just prioritizing people's top skills. You need your stunning blow maxed out. Oh, Serene is busy. Lord Vert. Lucas. Let's max out the inspiring tune for stress heal. Why not? What else am I gonna do with that character? <laughs> Might as well just max these things out. Knackle. Pistol shot. Might as well increase the set the self buff. If he's gonna have a self, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna spend any time with a self buff, I might as well. Uh, I may as well get the maximum benefit. Now it's time to look into people's weapons. The weapons of the characters that don't really attack. Because now this character, yeah, he's got some more damage, but that doesn't necessarily matter so much. But hey, check out that extra that extra speed. Bonus speed is nice. So now my now my uh. Now, as I max out people's weapons, the the healers are going to be able to react faster. You know what? That was just such a brief little run, and, like, I've been okay with doing shorter episodes when the runs are shorter, but this is going to be, like, a 15-minute episode, so I guess I'll just pick out a new thing to do, and this will be a double-run episode for the first time. Veteran... Oh, veteran short. Veteran medium. Veteran short. Yeah? I mean, a short run will definitely cap out the episode, I guess. So let's prep our short run. Uh, we'll have the Murd heal again, why not? Uh, Lord Vert can get in the front row. Uh, oh yeah, boss monster isn't even healing. We could, we could basically just craft the same party again, can't we? Except, isn't who's isn't someone busy? Oh yeah, Serene is no longer with us, because he is doing other things, so... Because I'll just bring Nackle along, he needs some experience in the field. Nackle, you wearing equipment? Nackle's wearing equipment. Oh, he's wearing scouting equipment. That'll make it easier to oh, explore 90% of rooms. Okay. Let's just get this started. So... I only do normal stacks for of, of provisions for these ones. I'll, just, I'll still do two keys, but one shovel. Yeah. A short run to complement a short run for a double run episode. Because I don't want to put out like a less than 20 minute episode of Darkest Dungeon. You guys already wait. You guys are already patient enough to wait for every other day videos. Wow. Well, this is relatively easy to explore. So, up, left, down, left, up, left. I can just snake my way through the uh, rooms ahead of us. And then, at that point, I'll be in the T section, but... I, th I think the moment I pick one direction to go in, I will have finished exploring. Hey guys! How's it going, everybody? Oh, is th are those fleshy humans? Yeah, you don't want to be here. I brought a bleeder along. See, that's that's ill advised because everyone here's all bony. But you went ahead and proved me wrong, which is good because these guys aren't unholy. Really? So there's benefits. Wow, the strike. Oh, I thought Nackle took a massive spike of stress, but he probably just came in with stress actually. <laughs> just something that I deemed not worth. <gasps> Hiccups. <laughs> something I deemed un unworthy of. Uh, I'm sure of uh, bothering with. Uh, I probably deemed that stress unworthy of healing, so I figured it, maybe it'll just recover over time. I'll, I mean, it could. If Nackle just happens to go on another low stress run that happens to have a camping trip on it, people could just heal his stress without him even having to bother going to, uh, to the tavern. 
And that's more money for our upgrades. All right, we're scouting now, because Nacla has a ridiculous scouting chance. And frankly, our party as a whole probably has a whole bunch of uh, scouting library. Should I touch it? Should I touch it with the Murd? Um, hey, a map. More scout. Oh, no scout. Oh, we are scouting. What? <laughs> we scouted so far away. <laughs> We've already like f almost fully scouted the entire map. Go figure. Only a hundred. Oh, knackle. There you go. I almost walked directly into that one. Alrighty then. Lighten up our torch and reckon and shit. Radiance, may we find victory. Well, this double run, I assume short and mediums might have the same benefit for, uh... They might have the same overall benefit when it comes to, uh... Progress towards the next boss, so this might be a little, like, double progress episode of getting closer to the next boss for the unholy area. At which we're, and at that point, that means we're getting closer to finishing the series until an actual the next update finally comes out that adds more content, because I'm probably just going to stop the moment I beat the three bosses and temporarily put the series on hiatus until the content comes out. Because, uh, other, the, all that's left to do at that point is just, like, spam our characters up to, like, level... I, if I really want to, I could spam our characters to, like, level 6, but Confidence that might do more harm than good, because it just means I'll be too... I'll be too prepared for the next runs when it when they become... when they come into, uh, the game. And also, uh... If there's any low-level content, I'll, I'll be even less equipped to, to, to handle it because my characters won't be willing to go on those low-level missions. That does remind me, though, if, this, if the series is coming to a close, I need to start saving up for caravan upgrades to inc increase my maximum roster size so that I can hire new people. Uh, so I'll, I'll need to hire new people if we have low-level runs. I wish I knew for sure how that end-game stuff's going to play out or how the uh, next two dungeons are going to be. Like, if they're going to be... Just like, <clears throat> just like the original three, or if they're going to be higher level. Because for all I know, they're going to add two new dungeons, and but actually increase the level cap, and it and it and scale naturally. But I just get the feeling that they might be the same. I get the, I get the feeling the cove might be a fourth dungeon that's just like the first three. At which case, I need to be prepared with lower level characters, or we gonna be in trouble. As the light gains purchase, this right, this room is empty. I'm I'm, I'm going to finish scouting, aren't I? Or not. I'm not going to finish scouting. Because I, I triggered scouting, but we fully explored every possible direction at this point. Uh, from here, anyway. Alright, quick run. Very quick run, wow. It feels like I'm accident accidentally doing low-level areas somehow, but that's not even a mechanic in this game. You're just... every everything's not low-level compared to you. What are we scouting here? Because if, if an area was too low-level for you, they just don't let you take those characters. Which I learned the hard way very early on in the series. I was like, oh yeah, we'll level these characters up and be powerful. That, that'll help us take on the next boss. Oh, he thinks too highly of himself to fight the, the un undead scourge. Well, I didn't anticipate this situation at all. Alright, we have a relic here and a boss. I mean, in a fight. And when I go north, I'll have one last bit of, bit of treasure and we'll already be wrapping this up. So, just gonna start wailing on open vent. Yeah. Nackle's really unequipped for this this dungeon, but I figured I'd bring him along for the experience. Decimated. We should be able to take out these marksmen relatively quickly, and then it's just going to be everyone focus fire on the big guy, and that'll be that'll probably be relatively quick. Oh, marksman did not go down. Bad luck for me. If I'm lucky, the Murd might finish him off though. Oh, I'm not really prone to doing that much damage though, am I? Uh, we'll just make do vulnerable. Uh. Reduce damage and accuracy on Bone Commander. Get some debuffs on him so that he can't really do much to us, slash hit us when it's his turn. He hit us, and he stunned us. Well, that's one way to prove me wrong. Ow! Excuse me? Rude? I like my organs where they are, thank you. 6 to 11, th yep, 7 to 12. I'm always caught off guard by the fact that Knackle does more damage with melee than range, just because he has so many ranged buffs you can get that you can give him, but his melee is still more powerful and applies a really dangerous bleed. Go figure. Vulnerability Hex, we're just gonna start, we're just gonna start de stacking debuffs on this guy. Now he's got reduced damage, reduced accuracy, and reduced dodge, so he's more likely to get nailed like this. And if I'm lucky, he'll stun. Nope. Because a stun would have taken him out for a whole turn, probably until the rest of his, for the rest of his life. Or un, unlife, anti-life, af afterlife. In between after pre afterlife, I don't know. 
please stun. There we go. And he's, he's dead now. It's over for him. It's adorable. Get over here. Oh, that actually worked. I was hoping it would just kill him, but that's a, that's a good that's a good option too. Kill the bad the kill the big bad guy. He's probably gonna do impale or something, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stab him in the face. Oh, he's trying to stab me in the face. It's my job. See? Oh, now you crit. The thing that would have helped all the way up till now. You you crit just in time for when it doesn't matter. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. This thing has three keys on it. Does that mean I have to use three keys? Nope. Okay. I I want to remind. I, I couldn't remember. We've done them before, but I don't remember if I needed the three keys or not. What's refreshing, a little refreshing about short dungeons is you do not tend to run out of inventory space, which is a frequent problem in every other part of this game, unfortunately. Hey, y'all. Oh, it's a gargoyle. We don't see a lot of those, but he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna be dead fast. All right. Oh, pretty humans and their nice fleshy bodies. Whoopsie. <laughs> Actually very low, da that was very low damage. It'll still kill him in a few turns from bleed alone, but I was hoping that it would be a high damage hit too, because then the bleed would be super effective. This guy, he's, oh, he is unholy. And now he's full of holes. He's quite holy, as it turns out. Yeah, went for that. Went for that, that joke. That obvious one. All right, uh, let's, t let's take out the Enchantress. There we go, she she's got the nasty debuffs. Now we just have two shitty little bleeders up front, and I can take care of them. Let's make you guys vulnerable. Nice and vulnerable. There you go. What's that? You thought you might dodge an attack? Oh, that's adorable. I'll have to fix that. And bleed. Oh, did I hit the I hit the back guy on accident? Whoops. I miss I misclicked slightly. Oh well. We'll be fine. Because this is happening. <laughs> I see you've I see you've learned my sword to your face technique. Uh, I missed the key. There we go. And, ooh, more Crescent and Bus, and we are out of here, and that'll be the end of the episode. There we go. And walls of our Still relatively we short, familiar. but we did it. We got through it, and we got, we made almost 20,000 gold today. So those short runs do pay off, because you get a lot of rewards anyway. They're probably, the short, the short runs might be the most loot efficient because of how quick they are, actually. So I got 14 Cress, 8 Bus, and... Three deeds, along with another eight thousand gold. So we made about twenty thousand, uh, about sixteen thousand gold. We also spent money on the on going in, of course. Oh, boss monster got a speed boost for first round, and Thamurd gets a scouting chance in, in the uh, ruins. These are all good things. They are all good things indeed. I days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. So now there's no more Mercurial and Zoophilia problems on that character. That's good to know. Speaking of which, we'll click on those specific characters just to make sure, see how they're doing. Mangy's pretty upgraded right now. Uh, Serene? Nope, haven't left anything behind for you either. I could increase the accuracy of Mark of Death. Might as well. It's kind of a core ability for you. So... Now I can, I can invest in upgrading people's weapons and I can invest in... Scrubbing more negative traits. Everyone has something wrong with them, right? Let's see. You have problems with... L ooh. Oh, range crit. That doesn't matter for you. Rabies I'm kind of want to keep around. That damage is kind of nice. Let's see. Will not take part in prayer activity in town. Oh, there we go. Kleptomaniac. I don't want Lord Vert stealing things from me anymore. How dare you? Solzny, do you have negative traits up here in your high horse at the top of the experience ladder? Uh, minus damage, that's adorable. Manic for money, light, <laughs> minus damage at, at high light, and minus damage at low health. Just all sorts of different issues. This character's stun resistance. Stun resistance would be good to get back. We don't want your healer getting stunned for sure. And I, of course, can't afford shit here. Let's see, I have a bunch of busts and portraits. We might as well upgrade the tavern, because those are the cheapest upgrades right now. There we go. Bam! Three bar no slots. Fail. Maybe they can be inured against the horrors below. Now they can have a party of their own down there. Definitely want to review stagecoach upgrade requirements. It requires deeds. Good reminder. So that's where I can put my deeds now that the blacksmith is done with them. And I can quick I can quickly start increasing um, the number of he my hero roster. I should be able to get six more slots, and I have one uh, empty slot still, so that'll be seven 
potential new heroes for the next expansion of content. Alrighty then. So, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade a couple weapons here. We can make our... Let's make Ballad Boxer a little faster. So... It starts out it starts off shitty. One damage, one crit. Oh no. That's like, ooh, bonus speed. Alright. But then you... Yeah, you... you you only gain two bonus speed from from the four upgrades. Still though, more speed is more speed. Getting the getting to move before the enemy pl the en it's not, getting getting your turn your move in each turn before the enemies do could be handy, especially if you're the healer, I suppose. All right, so how long is our five five now? Level five weapons and level five armor for this entire screen. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Thamurd is our only person aside from the two people that are in the uh, that didn't make the cut into the A team and are sort of patiently waiting for expansion content to come out because I because I assume that that's going to matter. Uh, Thamurd's the only person that still needs their weapon upgraded after which after which they're just going to get a lot of guild upgrades and I might just ha start having a lot of money sitting around and hopefully one day I'll get enough uh, hopefully one day I'll get enough bus to be able to do this infirmary upgrade and then that'll let me. Start. That'll let me do three uh, sanitarium visits at a time, and then I can start scrubbing every one of their negative traits. And that'll be where my money goes at that point, because that's all. That, that's the main thing it'll be good for. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Like always, I'll s I will see you next time. How are we doing on ruins now? Forty-three percent. It's getting there. And that's, that's close. And the other ones are at seventy-nine. Like each of these only has is only one or two runs away from boss. So. I don't know, we, we're, we're definitely in the la I would say we're definitely in the last 10 or so episodes of this series until the next content expansion comes out. It's been a wild ride.